Hello everyone, welcome to the session. Today we are going to talk about generative AI application development best practices with Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL. I am Shambhu Hegde, product manager for Google Cloud SQL. To make building generative AI application easier, we have built a jumpstart solution that you all can use. This jumpstart solution is built using Cloud Run, Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL and Vertex AI. We will use Cloud Run for deploying the application. We will use Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL as the vector database and we will use Vertex AI for all the AI ML models. Using this jumpstart solution, you can build a generative AI application in less than 30 minutes. Even if you are not an AI ML expert, it is very easy to get started when you use this jumpstart solution. So we have posted this solution in GitHub. Here is the link and the QR code for the GitHub repo from where you can download it and start building your generative AI application. In this session today, we are going to start with an introduction of the key topics which are very important for generative AI application. Then we will go into the details of the jumpstart solution. When you build a generative AI application, you really want to make sure that the output quality is really good. You want to make sure that the accuracy and the relevancy of the generative AI application is really good. But in traditional generative AI models, sometimes the results or the output could be, could be inaccurate, out of date or irrelevant. To solve that problem, you have to use a technique called as retrieval augmented generation or RAG. When you use RAG, it uses semantic queries on an external knowledge source such as database to fetch the latest up-to-date and accurate content. For semantic queries, vector embedding plays a key role. And to store those vector embeddings, you can either use a general purpose database or you can use a specialized vector database. So in this session today, we are going to talk about the benefits of using a general purpose database as your vector database. But before that, what is vector embedding? So vector embeddings are numerical representation of content such as text, audio or video. Let's say you have a text, dogs allowed, and another text, pets welcome. You can convert this text into vector embedding and store it in your database so that it is very easy to store, it is easy to manipulate, it is easy to index and also do effective searches on these vector embeddings. If two pieces of content are semantically similar, then their vector embeddings are also located near each other in the vector space. For example, in this picture, you can see dogs allowed and pets welcome. These two texts are located each other. And then another text, service animals only, which has a slightly different meaning, is located far from previous two texts. Now, if you insert another text, dog friendly, then it will be located near other text, which has similar semantic meaning. So vector embeddings play a key role in classifying all this information, storing it in the database and help enabling faster as well as efficient searches so that your generative AI application is not only providing the accurate content, it is also providing uh, the content very fast and it is very efficient. So now we have looked into all these basic concepts. We will go into the details of how Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL is an ideal choice for you to build a generative AI application. So Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL offers a number of benefits catered to generative AI application. The first and foremost thing is that Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL supports PG vector, which means you can use the same database that you are familiar with as a vector database. And when you are doing the semantic searches on a vector embeddings, uh, you really want to make sure that the performance is good. For that reason, Cloud SQL supports data cache, a server-side SSD that helps improving the read performance. And Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL is also integrated with Vertex AI as well as ecosystem tools such as Langchain so that it is easier for you to orchestrate as well as build generative AI application. And once you build a generative AI application, you really want to make sure that you have observability into the performance of that application. For that reason, Cloud SQL provides end-to-end -end observability with generative AI specific metrics, tracing, as well as query insights. 
And the most important thing is that Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL is already an enterprise ready database with uh, the best data protection, security and governance capabilities. So when you use the same database as your vector database, you get all these benefits along with it. Compare that to using a specialized vector database where you have to re-architect as well as rethink all these workflows. But when you use Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL as your vector database, you get all these things. So now we have looked into the benefits of Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL. Now let's start with a real world example of how you can build a generative AI application. Let's start with an example of a company called as Toy Store. Toy Store is a popular toy company which carries more than 100,000 different toys. And they have been in business for multiple years and customers really like them. But in recent years, they are facing a problem. Their users, the shoppers are telling that it is very hard to find a toy that they really like when they visit this website. When a user goes to the website, they are getting lost in hundreds of choices and then they are churning. And the company wants to solve this problem. And they have heard that generative AI applications could be helpful here. So now they want to use generative AI to solve this problem and make it easy for customers to find the perfect toy. But to build a generative AI application, they have some of problems. So the first problem is budget. They don't have a ton of budget to bring a specialized technology or a specialized vector database. And they also want to implement this new solution using the expertise that their team already has. And time to market is also important for them. They don't want to wait for six months or one year. They want to build something fast and then iterate on top of that. How can they do that? They can do that if they use the jumpstart solution that Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL has published because it provides you all the best practices as well as sample code which the customers can use to easily build generative AI application. So now let us look into the technology components of this jumpstart solution. Here is the architect architectural diagram. You can see there is Cloud Run, which we are using for deploying the application. And Cloud Run is talking to Cloud SQL, which is acting as the vector database. And the application is also talking to Vertex AI for different embedding models, as well as LLM models. So here I have provided the link, which contains this Jumpstart solution, and it is posted on GitHub. So when you use this Jumpstart solution, there are essentially four steps. The first step is to deploy or provision the infrastructure in Google Cloud using all the best practices. The second step is to build and deploy the application. And the third step is to interact with the application. And the fourth step is to observe how the application is performing. And we will go into the detail of each of these steps. The first step is to provision the infrastructure. And when you provision the infrastructure for generative AI application, you want to make sure that it has all the security and other best practices. Here I have an example from this Jumpstart solution. Here is an example code which shows how SSL or TLS encryption is enabled by default, which means all the communication between client and server is encrypted. You also get IAM authentication setup, which means you don't have to maintain separate username and password for the database. And also private connectivity is enabled by default, which means all the communication between clients and server is private and secure. So all these best practices are applied and the infrastructure is provisioned in Google Cloud. Let's see one example. So let me show you the Cloud SQL console. You can see uh, there are Cloud SQL instances. Uh, specifically, we are talking about the Toys inventory instance. It is a PostgreSQL 16 instance. We will look into some of the configurations. Uh, you can see that it has 8 vCPU, 64 GB of RAM, and 250 GB of storage. It is an enterprise plus edition instance, which gives you a lot of benefits, including sub-second maintenance downtime. It also has the data cache enabled to improve the performance of your semantic queries. And it is a production instance. So it gives all the good configurations, such as you know the automatic backups, point in time recovery, high availability, all these things out of the box. So you don't have to spend a lot of time building all these things. So you can see the Cloud SQL instance is already provisioned. And similarly, the Cloud Run jobs, 
as well as the private connectivity, everything is set up in the background for you when you use this Jumpstart solution. For that, it uses Terraform templates so that all these policies and best practices are applied consistently. So once you have the infrastructure, the second step is to build and deploy the application. So we have provided all these applications for you. We will look into each of these applications. You can see there are three application files. The first one is initDB. It, it is used to set up some of the uh, extensions as well as permissions on the database. And the second application is load embeddings. It is used to convert the columns in your database into vector embeddings. And then there is chatbot API application, which is used to build the interactive chatbot interface for your end users to interact with the application. So with, within few uh, easy steps, you can build and deploy all these applications in Cloud Run. We have selected Cloud Run because it's very easy to get started in Cloud Run and also Cloud Run scales on demand based on the demands of your applications. So since we have already built and deployed these applications in Cloud Run, uh, we will look, uh, look at a demo of that. You can see uh, here is a Cloud Run console. Uh, it has two jobs, one for initDB and one for load embeddings. You can also see that it has a service uh, for chatbot API. Uh, once you click on that, you can see that it is in US Central One region, and it also has an API that your end users can directly interact with. So now we have completed two steps. Uh, in the first step, we deployed all the infrastructure. In the second step, we built and deployed the application. Now the application is ready. We will interact with it. So using this Jumpstart solution, we have built a front end where end users can interact with the toy store. So let's ask one question. Let's say, uh, suggest a toy for a kid who likes basketball. When you ask this question, behind the scenes, there is a semantic query which is going on in your database and it provides you an output which is relevant along with additional details such as price as well as a description. Let's ask one more question. And as soon as you ask the question, you get a response back with relevant details as well as the price information, which is helpful for you to pick the toy. So this is the front end. But what is actually happening in the background? To see that, you can look into the observability capabilities that Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL provides you. We are in the Google Cloud Console, and you are looking into query insights. You can see a list of all the top queries. You can click on one of the queries. You can see that it is a query to search for vector embeddings on your database. You can see that it is searching from product embeddings table. You can also look at the latency for this query. And if you scroll down, you can also see which user or which service account ran this query. And after that, you can also look into the visual query plan for, so that it is e very easy for you to debug and improve the performance of this query. You can see how much time is being taken by different parts of this query. And in addition to that, you can also look at some of the Gen AI specific metrics that Cloud SQL provides you. For example, uh, earlier we talked about how Cloud SQL provides data cache, which helps improving the performance of your uh, semantic queries. So you can see there are two metrics. So one thing is data cache used and another thing is data cache quota. So you can click on both of these metrics and get a nice visual representation of how much of the data cache you have in your instance and how much of that is being used. So you can use this information uh, to take an action to either increase the data cache or take other actions to improve the performance of your generative AI application. To recap, it is very easy to build generative AI application when you use Cloud Run, Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL, and Vertex AI. To make it easier for you, we have built a Jumpstart solution using all these three products. So here is the link and QR code to the GitHub repo that contains this Jumpstart solution. So please download it, try it, and start building your generative AI application. Thank you.